Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, we left off. Uh, we had just made our way to this planet. Uh, as you can tell, it's a little bit different than the previous two. Um, it's actually pretty okay when it comes to planets. It's got trees, or at least recognizable trees. It's got some weird animals, but I mean, hey, when it's not Earth, what can you expect? Also, uh, I loaded in here, and, uh, well, I loaded from this save point, anyway, and then there was a big rock right in front of my door. Um, it was really weird, kind of blocked my ability to exit, but after mining it, it's all okay now. It was just a big old rock and it gave me a whole bunch of pure ferrite. Which was, I mean, not something I desperately needed, but I mean, hey, I can take it. Okay. Ah, you got that good. Alrighty. Um, so. When it comes to things I need to do, there's apparently a very powerful fuel source nearby, and this is why it keeps going to target sweep mode. Because I need to... Apparently... Use this... To find... Where the powerful fuel source is. The only way I can do it is with this. Oh, hi there! Hi! Um, you don't seem nice, so I'm gonna do that. Scaly meat. <laughs> scaly meat. Do you call it scaly meat? Really? Alright. Journey milestone acquired. Oh, I'm a hiker now. Alright. Well, I might need to get some sodium at some point. Or my oops, that's not what I meant. Alright, um That that's not the button I wanted either. This is the button I wanted. Okay, sodium. Sodium, sodium, sodium. I have a decent amount of sodium nitrate, but not nearly as much just base sodium. So I'm going to need to fix that. Luckily, I can do that right here. Well, that jetpack does not last as long as I... <laughs> Yeesh. At least not as long as I remember, either. Oh, hi there. Hello. Oh, fuck. Another one of these. Okay. I really don't like having to keep killing creatures, but they're going to kill me, and that's the only option I got. Ooh, what's that there? Finalizing signal. Fully triangulated. Bolts. Oh. Oh, this is the thing. Oh, but ah. What just hit me? I just get hurt with. Oh. This is an unidentified plant. Out of all the plants I identified. Interesting. Very interesting. Dreams of Igors. Edgiors? Ah, friggin' no. Okay. Well, there's a whole bunch of knowledge stones, so I might as well use them. Do I have to be 
on the same level. And then we'll be used. Yeah, I guess, yes. Oh, God damn it. Stop it. Didn't want y'all fighting me. Didn't want to be fighting the planet. Entity. I missed what the other one was. But I got a uh, journey stone accomplished. <laughs> Rather. <laughs> journey accomplishment. I can't fucking talk. And I can't stop swearing, apparently, either. Okay. Is. Alright. Dreams of Eco. Egeors. Heart of the Anomaly. This structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind. A strange fragment of broken speech. Is it Traveler? Is it Friend? It is Traveler. It feels strange, responding to questions I am unsure that I am being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that someone is watching me. I'm looking over my shoulders just in case. <laughs> it forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? It is first? I do not know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again. Have they seen the Crimson Eye? Has the Crimson Eye seen them? Both? Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters breach detected. Alert, alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. It just gave me a freebie warp cell. Thank you? I guess? Yeah! yeah. Alright. Well. That was... Interesting. Yeah, that's a cobalt deposit, but I don't know what to use it for. Nothing has made it so I can understand what I can use it for. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Actually, did I have some cobalt in my inventory yet? Oh, it's for ion batteries. makes a little more sense. Well, if I can make ion batteries with cobalt, might as well. Oh, it also requires some ferrite dust. That ain't too bad. Mm, do I really need to hold on to that? I don't think I do. Ion batteries. Yeah, they ain't too bad. Ain't terrible. But, uh, I don't know if I need to focus on making a whole bunch of them or not. I don't feel like I need to. 
but, uh, well, you never know. Oh, hi there. Alright. Here I was expecting only that one to have to fight me. Or rather, have to fight only that one. Trying to get a feel of how the weapon systems uh, operate. So far, I think it does it in like four or five round bursts. And I can work with that. Oh, there's a the sword. I was about to say, where the hell did it go? Alright. Huh. Paraffinium. I don't know what it is, but I kind of want to find out. Oh, don't you start. So I keep wondering, could I... Oh yeah, I've already scanned them. Okay, well. Paraffinium. I've never identified this plant? Okay, well, might as well start. Gives me carbon and nitrogen. Interesting. Makes sense. Alright, well... Time to get at it. Paraffinium. Alright. Local mineral extract typically found in large deposits and extracted from common materials after inspection with an analysis visor. Typically found on planets with a tropical environment. Well, that makes sense. Well, I'll mine it down. Just this one deposit. Find out what I can do with it. And then go from there. Well, tell you what, it is difficult to tell it as a difference between it and the normal rock. Definitely a little difficult to figure out. But probably get there. Probably figure it out. And Well, plus one. Okay. There we go. Probably go ship direction. Whoops. Okay. Time to start calming down the little flight path. Oh. Oh. What's that? That's a marrow bulb. 
Oopsie doodle. Didn't mean to fall like that. Okay. More unidentified plants. Alright. These unidentified minerals or something? Nope. Knowledge stone up ahead. Yep. Okay. Well, that was not necessarily what I meant. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Do that. All right. Okay. Now I can go forward. What is this? Cobalt and pure ferrite. There's a lot of things that are giving me pure ferrite now. Kind of crazy. Alright, uh, let's see if I can get out of here. Yeah, managed it. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. That's already what I did. <laughs> okay. Well. It's a big ass mushroom. Okay. Wait, a substance? What substance? Substance that can come out of the mushroom? Star bulb. A star bulb, you say? Well, I'm kind of curious what a star bulb is. A beautiful gemstone. This prized product is the engorged luminescent berry of the star bramble. The host plant requires lush conditions to thrive in the wild can be farmed in all environments with the aid of a hydroponics tray. Cool. The gem itself doesn't seem to be that valuable. Which is unfortunate, but... Apparently I can use it in crafting, so there's that. That is not what I wanted. Also... Need to fill that up with uh, let's do silicate powder because I have a metric fuck ton of that. Um, I wonder, could I do the same thing with? I could, but it's gonna be slow. I was just curious. I think I was correct. It does do it in five round bursts. Okay. There we are. Oh. It's one of these bastards. Bite. Alright. No. Oh. You tell me it's a gem, and all of a sudden, all my brain thinks about is mine, mine, mine. What was a plant that was unidentified? Needlakia. Oh! This also has star bulbs coming out of it. Interesting. Very interesting. This is unidentified. This big bush. Oh. This bush will only give me the fakium. Otherwise known as shit. What the 
fuck are you? Pulpy roots. I don't think so. <laughs> stone anyway. Oh, there's another one right down the way. Cool. And a lot of sodium over here. Might as well pick that up while I'm over here. The And gotta get that ready. Hello. Hello, big beastie. go. Or maybe it's a four round burst. I never said I could count. Okay. That's paraffinium. Uh, that's paraffinium. Oh, geez. That's a big deposit of paraffinium. Holy Jesus. Okay. Well, if I knew what it was used for, that'd be one thing. But I don't Wow, there's a lot of them over here the further I go. Oh, great. And they all come out of nowhere the further I go. Oh, okay. You bastard. Fuck you. Wait, this is an unidentified plant? Really? Okay, gotta scan this faster. Oh, ow! You bastard. There we go. Well, you're taken care of now. Then I'll deal with this stupid fucking thing. Apparently, there can be several subspecies of the same sort of evil bastard species. Could use that. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to be doing it this way, but hey. Keeps it out for when I inevitably fight this bastard. Well, hi there. Bye. Oh man, there's so many of them. Literally, the farther I go, the more of them there are. Oh, great. These things I can't even get to without killing this one. Okay. There we go. Oh. That's my uh, inventory being filled up with scaly meat. Jeez. And more dice. Okay. Um, hmm. Feline liver. Ugh. Well, at least these sell for a decent amount. A little bit. Okay. Um. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Well. Balls. That sucks. Well, maybe I can pick the stuff in here up. Yes, I can. And I got more projectile ammunition, which is something I'll desperately need. Still can't pick anything of that up. Balls. <sighs> Alright, well. Time to head back to the ship, I guess. And that other knowledge stone. Oh, hello. The 
if you turn around, I could finish this a lot quicker. There we go. And then I'll just mine this up. Another Nile stone over there. That might be, yeah. Might be a couple. Interesting. Another stone. Go back to it for two. Well, I was correct. There are multiple knowledge stones in that direction. Just have that going for me. Convergence and life form. Interesting. Can't give me what's in it. My inventory's full. Joy. All right. Well, head to the ship. Cast her out because I'm going to need it. Got you. Oh, hi there! You got really close really quickly. How's it going? Whoa, that's a lot of sodium plants over here. Wow. Just a straight up. Smorgasbord over here. Sodium plants. Awesome. Give me all the sodium I'll need. For like, probably years. Well, I shouldn't say years. What the hell? Oh, hi. Yep. Nah, no, I figured. Well. I might as well. Floating crystal. I'm gonna mark that. Head back to the ship. Or at least the base. Forgot about that. Anyway. Head back to the base, the very least. I don't think... Mm. Broke giving up on me. <laughs> I don't think I can make, like, a storage system. I don't think that's something I can do. But I know that because I have the teleporter up, maybe I can go to the space station? In the previous system. sell stuff. Oh yeah. And that would be over here. Sell. Not that. Paraffinium. I still need to make sure I know what that does before I do anything with it. Um, silicate powder. 
It's a very abundant material. Oh, I can create glass with that. So that's another thing I can do with it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I don't need that. Sell that. Don't need this. Meaty chunks. Don't really need those either. Did I sell all my meaty chunks? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Paraffinium. I don't know what that does. I'm going to hold that there just in case. Um, put this here. I mm. might as well refill this with some oxygen. Technology yeah. Uh, projectile ammunition. I'm good on that. So, ah, oh, my ship was brought with me. Interesting. Ooh. I didn't even pay attention to how much money I earned. Nice. Where am I sitting at now? Oh, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Let's see. check this side of the whole thing. I don't want to... Crap dealer. Ah, another inspection. Is Viking honor not enough? Viking stiffens as I approach, though they do their best to hide it. They are nervous on their guard. Uh, purchase old scrap. A suspicious packet of goods. And it's all tainted metal, huh? That's the currency for them, I guess. It is oh, oh, conceptual gravity irradiator. Hmm. Compared to my current. Scanner range is farther. The damage potential is kind of on par. And it has less slots. You know, I'm going to say no. Just because it has less slots. I wonder. This is the upgrade station. Oh. Huh. Install a multi-tool expansion slot. But that's not free. At least not something I can do. I can purchase a new slot. Or upgrade the class for a whole bunch of nanites, which I don't have. Okay. Wow. Costs here are crazy. You are the Starship Research Dude, okay. Installable Starship Upgrades in exchange for Nanite Clusters. Ra, Wu Jiang, Interloper, K, Not, Xing, A, Jag. Okay. Wish I could understand you. Really wish I could. Huh. Ah, okay. A pulse engine module, a hyperdrive module, warp drive efficiency and jump distance. That would be nice. So I do have enough nanites for most of the stuff here. But a phase beam. I don't even know if I have a phase beam. Cyclotron. 
I don't even know what that is. Infra knife? What? Some of these things it's telling me I don't know what they are. Okay. Thank you. All right. Exocraft research. This life form looks like they could break my fingers with a handshake, but thankfully greets me with a formal nod instead. That's probably something he's run into a couple times. I could understand most of the sentence. Give me your <laughs> interloper. Give me your bleh, and I will bleh you bleh too. Bleh your pathetic bleh. Something about that sentence seems weird, but I can't put my finger on it. Okay. I don't even know what an exocraft is. Or even if I can make them. Huh. Oh! Exosuit upgrades. Oh! Aha! Exosuit research. Installable exosuit upgrades. Interloper is... Death is... Okay. I don't know why you had to bring up death, but okay. Life support module. Underwater protection. I haven't run into a lot of planets that have water on it, but... Might be something for the future. If nothing else. Ooh. Thermal protection. Radiation. Okay. That was a weird noise my stomach made. I apologize. Thermal protection in the other direction. Huh. Interesting. Uh, inventory empty on those. Well, makes sense. All right. Ooh, right. Okay. What the appearance modifier? Oh my god. What the what? <laughs> and I can have saved outfits to boot? What? What? <laughs> oh my god, it looks kind of like a cat in the weirdest sense. Okay. Let's keep it with anomaly for right now. Body shape. <laughs> Go with a short, fat, fucker. short, skinny fucker or a tall man. Tall, big man. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> I could change the colors. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do that in the other order, actually. There we go. An accent color green. Where's the accent anyway? Oh, it's in the uh, visor. Okay. Helmet type. Oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be sitting here for a while if I keep this up. <laughs> Hello there, Guardian. <laughs> Getting very Shaxx vibes from that helmet. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I kind of like like the original, but at the same time, this one's kind of speaking to me too. And the markings. And... Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Okay. Let's go with the torso now. I can go with torso styles. Alright, okay. And there's armor styles as well. Alright. Antique breastplate. <laughs> Sleek chest piece. Okay, so it actually has names for it. Alright. Industrial space suit. Uh, sleek space suit. And embroidered suit. Ah, oh, that's kind of snazzy. Alright. And then the accent color there. I wish I could change those shoulders, but apparently I can't. Accent color? I can't even see the accent because of the armor. Just armored shoulder pads. Huh. Uh, I prefer this. Honestly, I do prefer this. And... So let's go with that. Green here. An accent. Green there. And then we go with gray there. And green here. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like that. I'm going to be here for a while, so I might as well end the episode, because I'm just going to be doing this the whole damn time. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos, and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat, playing games and <laughs> playing around with... Uh, playing around with customization now that I know that I can do it. And, uh, you know, just exploring the planet that I'm on, and now the space station that I'm on a little bit, and uh, playing around with making myself look good. Because now that I have the option to, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'm going to be here for a while. All right. Well, eh, see y'all on the flip side. This will be a long time for you. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs>